Welcome back to the channel everybody where today I'm going to show you how to make a very inexpensive meal for the family. This will be the first time that I have ever made this recipe but I bet it's going to be very good. This is called chili cheese dog bake. I'll have the recipe down in the description box. The recipe calls for four hot dogs. I'm going to be doing eight hot dogs so I will be doubling the recipe but I will put the original recipe down in the description. All right, let's get right to it. Okay, here's the ingredients we're gonna be using. I have two things of pizza crust. I have two cans of Hormel chili with beans, and I have the eight hot dogs, and I've got the cheese sticks. And I'll show you how all this comes together to make this chili cheese dog bake. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is put our 13 by nine casserole pan. We're gonna put some cooking spray in it. And now we're going to dump in the chili. All right, get it all spread out evenly. Okay, now it's time to prep our hot dogs. All right, We've got our pizza dough right here. All right, we're gonna cut this into fours. Okay, now we're going to take our cheese, cut it into two pieces. And we take our hot dog. And we're going to put the cheese on both sides of the hot dog. And then we're just going to roll it up. just like that and we'll do another one cut the cheese in half take your hot dog one piece of cheese on each side of the hot dog and then we're going to roll it up. And there you have it. All right, I'm going to do the other six, and then I'll bring you back when it's time to put them in the pan. Okay, we got them all ready to go into the casserole pan. And you want to put them seam side down. And it's going to be a little tight. All right, we'll get that one right in there. All right, we're going to get the Z-Grills heated up to 375 degrees, and then we're going to get these dogs on. Okay, the smoker's up to 350. I have decided to do it at 350 because unlike an oven, 
an oven has constant temperature where a pellet grill fluctuates up and down. The recipe calls for 375 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown in the oven. But I'm going to be doing it 350 because I do not want to burn these suckers. And plus, why heat up the house? We can do all the hot cooking outside. All right, let's get these dogs on. All right, there you have it. We'll come back in about 20 minutes and check on them. Okay, what we got here is we got some melted butter, some garlic powder, and some finely chopped parsley. And we're gonna put it up on top of the, the dough, the bread. It's getting there, it's getting a little bit of brown, so we're just gonna go ahead and put this on here and let it finish off. This is, oh yeah, this is coming along nicely. All right, let's get this lid closed up and let it finish browning up. And I'll bring it back when it's time to take it off. Oh yeah, look at that. Coming along good. Getting a little brown on the top. We're almost done. Look at that goodness. I'll bring it back shortly. Okay, everybody. We are going to call this done. That thing is screaming hot. We're going to let that cool down a little bit before I cut a couple off. And then we'll give it the taste test. Okay, it's been sitting for a little bit. Let's get a couple of these out. Oh, look at that cheesy goodness. All right, I'm gonna let them sit a little bit longer and cool down a little bit before I cut into it. And then I'm gonna cut into it and we're gonna do a quick taste test. All right, let's cut into this and see what we got. Okay, here we go. Let's give this the taste test. We're gonna get a little bit of everything here on the first bite. Got some of the pizza crust, the chili, now for the hot dog. All right, cheers everybody. One more time. I'm telling you what, for a cheap meal, this is pretty good. I even got a little hit, bit of hit, uh, even got a little hint of smoke flavor on it from being in the smoke for a while. Like I said the original recipe calls for 20 to 25 minutes at 375 in an oven. This in the smoker took about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Toward the end, I really cranked the heat up to get this uh, pizza crust to brown. But all in all, this is a win-win. All right, you definitely got to try this. All right, everybody, I really appreciate everybody that has watched this video. If you're new here and you like what I do, please consider subscribing. And as I always say, if I can cook it, 
you can cook it. Stop making boring food. Take care, everybody, and I will definitely catch you on the next one.